Hey, what's going on, Star Gang? Hey, today I'm gonna do a uh, a smoked grilled potato salad. And we all know that potato salad, when it comes to family get-togethers, can be a pretty uh, <laughs> finicky thing. Cause yeah, I know you guys heard this statement: "Who made the potato salad?" You know. Uh, but I wanted to try something different, and I wanted to bring a, a, a grill aspect on it. Um, I did a potato salad and it came out amazing. But this is a recipe that I think is something that you can build that you can build upon. I went to the store and I feel that could be mistake number one is that I got the small potatoes almost the kind that you put like in a in a shrimp bowl or a crab bowl. I got those oh, but next time I will stick to the bigger type potatoes because it's more easier than handling on the grill whether you choose to do it in your house or whether you choose to do it on the Weber kettle or the Traeger or what other device you choose to use. And I just washed them and I parboiled them. I probably parboiled them for about five minutes. I chopped up some cilantro because I really like the flavor and the taste that cilantro brings to a dish. It kind of elevates it, takes it to the next level. I got some green onions and then I got some celery for the crunch because we all need that crunch inside the potato salad. Going forward, I think I will take this a different route. Going forward, so I will use Miracle Whip and I will use Sweet Relish, but also to take this over the top a little bit more, I will add some egg and I will put a little bit of mustard in it for color. Now don't get me wrong, the way that I did it, it was good, you know. Cause I got some pretty strong critics here at the at the stall. It was pretty good. Also, I almost forgot. I topped this thing off with some bacon, and everything just really tied together in this dish. From the charnish that I got from the grill, cause it kind of charred the skin, and the, my, the, plus these were skin on potatoes. From the crunch, from the um, celery, the creaminess of the sour cream, the mayo. The, uh, and the bacon that really tied it all together. I have really had a good time doing this video. Check this video out, and if you're liking what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. All right, Star Gang, we'll see you for the next video. Let's get into this one. Okay. Turn me up a little bit. Okay, I got these uh, potatoes. Par cook, and I just wanted to put them on the grill a little bit so they can get some uh, some char on them. And I got them on this rack so I'm not chasing potatoes all over the damn grill. I'm gonna let these go like this and get a little bit of char on them. Now, once again, I did par cook these and some boiling water. When I took them out, put a little bit of oil on them and season them with uh, some, some salt and pepper. Now we're gonna let them stay here until I get a little bit of char on them. And then we're gonna go in the house, we're gonna cut them up and, and make the dressing. Oh, they've been on probably about 10 minutes or so. So basically I'm just gonna flip them. The ones to the back got a little more char than the other ones. So I'm gonna kinda Move them around a little bit so everything can get charred. Next time I may just get some bigger potatoes and just cut them up so they'll be a lot easier to deal with. But I can just move them around as, as I need. I already lost one to the game a little bit ago. But this is what they look like right here. Nice little char. All right, we got these off the grill. And uh, you can see the char that we got on them. And they smell good, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut them into a little more manageable pieces. Chop them like this. And they still got some texture to them, so they holding up. So we're just gonna chop them like this, so they'll be a little more manageable. A little warm too. I love the smell that that grill put on them. 
We're putting the char on. I know you guys don't want to watch me cutting potatoes in half, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Okay, I got my potatoes chopped up. I kind of wish I had some more potatoes, but it is what it is. And the veggies that I'm going in with, I'm going in with some celery, some green onions, and some cilantro. That's probably about a half a cup or a cup. I'm gonna go with these right here. Now, let's go in with some uh, mayo and sour cream. Put this in here. Out. And let's go about the same amount of uh, maybe a half a cup of uh, mayo. That worked out about right. Okay, let's clean this up. Gonna gently fold this in because we have <laughs> cooked these and we don't want them to fall apart completely. Everything's coated. Real potato salad. Never did it, but you know. Potato salad, these some sweet relish, though. I'll side one for just a little bit. Okay, that's enough just to make it sweet. Carefully fold it in so you don't break up your potatoes. And last but not least, we're going some bacon bits. Now you can cook your bacon fresh. I was in the store and I seen these right here and it was already cooked. And I like to use my hog breakfast. Take your pack out. Or you can eat the pack if you're hungry. Need some bacon bits in here. Fold this in again, gently, because you don't want to make mashed potato salad. And there you got it right there. Uh, grilled potato salad. Looks pretty good, but looks don't mean a damn thing. I'm gonna cover this with some uh, aluminum foil and set it in the refrigerator. Let it all, uh, the flavors marry a little bit. We're gonna come back, we're gonna taste it. All right, the proof is in the pudding. I got this thing, uh, had it in the refrigerator probably for about 30 minutes. It's chilled a little bit, so let's go in with a taste test. Get a nice little chunk. That's a chunk of, uh, looks like a maybe a red, now it looks like two yellow, but you can see the celery and the, and the uh, cilantro in it. Let's go and try it. After I got everything in one bite, I got the potatoes, the celery, the cilantro. I got me some bacon bits in it. Can't really taste the relish. Maybe the next time I try this, I go to my old favorite Miracle Whip and relish. It'll give a more uh, sweeter, sweeter taste. But all in all, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good salad, and it's different, you know. All right, it's been the meat stall. Find you some meat and smoke it. Okay. 
Turn me up a little bit.